Yo, 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 everybody, this is Narcoleptic after, you know, like, five or ten episodes. Anyway, so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at, I don't know why I'm doing this, uh, we're going to look at the, this thing and trying to fuel it automatically. What I think is we're going to do is have an inner chest on either of these things and just basically have pipes coming in and out. It's not that fast of a process, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Actually, we could probably just have one inner chest. Although, if, like, this one fills up with, or this inner chest fills up with uranium, then this one wouldn't be able to exit. Uh, yeah, and I think we were going to want it to fill up with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to need two different inner chests, which actually means four inner chests. So, inner chest we don't have any in the system so we're just gonna make four and that shouldn't take any time at all ender chest yeah we got the four okay so realistically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one here and one here and right now they have stuff in them because of that wait why are there ender pearls and oh never mind <laughs> okay so then we can get some dye. Let's see, cyanite and uranium. Mm, like all lime and all cyan, maybe? I don't know. Cyan. Uh, let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And maybe we'll do. What did I say? Lime? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. The real question is, or do those combinations already have something in them? So, let's do all three of those. Nope, nothing there. Oh, but cyan does. Uh, cyan is what I'm using for my middle. So, I'm going to do cyan, white, cyan. And that should have nothing in it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So, the next bit will be to add item ducks. And we're really close to getting the the, the normal item ducks. Whoops. Um, or not the normal, the fast item ducks. I think that'll be really cool when we do that. But right now, nah. And we need some servos. Yes, please. We're actually going to need all four of these. Uh, this one is going to be uh, this way, and this one is going to be that way, and it shouldn't matter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Puts the, that stuff in there. Wow, it actually had a bunch in there. Okay, so now we need to go hook it up downstairs. So, one, two, do, 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 do. yep, okay, here we go. So... What I'm thinking is that my phone, for some reason, reacted to what I'm thinking. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we'll do, we'll color code these guys as well. So I did, what, uh, cyan, white, cyan for the, yeah, cyanite. And we're going to do all lime for the uranium. Okay, and we're going to need a slave controller. Hit next. And hit start. And type in slave again. Grab this. Alright. There we go. Then one here. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, you stupid thing. Okay. <laughs> nope bad okay and we're gonna need let me turn this one off this time before I do something stupid and get rid of that and then we're going to okay so this one is going to go directly into the system and this one is going to pull out of the system we're going to hit a whitelist, though. And then we're going to grab some uranium, if I can 
find. Actually, I don't need to find it. We can just type in uranium here. And we just want this to go there. And it's probably going to put all of our store in this thing, which is actually okay. Okay, cool. So now our power is going to constantly run and we'll be fine. So let me go back here. Okay. So this should be 100%. Yep, yep. And this should be constantly pulling out. Cool. And we should be good to go. So, um, I guess the other thing is that, you know, we're only ever going to get 34, maybe 35,000 RF out of this thing. That's insane, by the way. All this, we're only getting 35,000 RF per tick. When, when we have the gelid cryothium thing, that's <laughs> that's the other part of it. We have the gelid cryothium, not gelid, this is the gelid cryothium nuclear power. The other one is blazing pyrothium, uh, like magma crucible power. So we have plenty of this and we can actually expand it. This will be our main source of power, but I do believe we're going to use the this power for our uh, thingamabobbers down there, although they won't be down there forever. So, I also had an idea about our mob farm, but that's for later. Okay, so right now what we want is to probably get as much of this working as possible. So we're actually gonna need we're going to need a power cell, I think. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Hold on. Beep. Okay, so we're going to need a power cell. Uh, probably just one. We're also going to need... That's the power card, actually, that we just grabbed. And we're going to need one of these. So, power... Okay, cool. Alrighty, so these, this, I mean, can hook up right here, right? And I'm actually going to just say in from all sides. And we're going to throw this in there. And it's unlinked? No. Oh, ID3. I'm like, say what? Okay, so then we're going to go over here whee, and drop out of the sky. Whee, okay. And we're going to grab this card, which is linked to ID 1 at the moment. Actually, we're also going to grab this one because we want it, them both to be... Oh my god, it's such a far... Such a long way up. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. So we're going to link these two, link and link, and the, the deal here is that we want the miners running off of this stuff, so it's fine. Yeah, dropping out of the sky, okay, don't want a creeper creeping, no creeper creeping. Installed module, installed module, okay, so this will be working off of the, the nuclear power. And the other will be not running off the nuclear power. So now we should be able to add in that extra speed modifier. And we have a light blue laser lens on it. But let's see. What do we really want? We want the, the next crystal up. Which is, I don't even remember. It is something. Let's look at it. It's... The crystal. Oh, too many crystals. Okay, let's look at at Enviro. Yeah, whatever. And then look up crystal. Yeah, there we go. It's this one, which I think is a purple lens. Yeah, purple laser lens. So we want a purple laser lens. 
and to get more of this stuff okay that's easy enough let's do that so uh, let's look up laser lens we actually have an extra one so that's good that's magenta but let's grab the purple gee I don't think we have enough um, so how do you do this just like this yep so we got purple laser lens perfect and we're gonna go install it down here now this was getting a Certus Quartz which we will probably get another one that will get a Certus Quartz but right now we're looking to get those those dimensional shards that will help us with building uh, it's kind of a roundabout way of helping us with building but it'll help us with building and we really want like extra extra things with this setup or we want extra of these so like one will always be mining crystals one will always be mining like uh, we'll always have one of these that will always be mining the, the 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 building materials will have one that's always getting like the, the certus quartz and the regular quartz you know that kind of stuff like we'll have like a bunch of these but right now we really just want the the next level up. Oh, that is actually draining really fast. Um, why is it draining? Link three. Void or miner just sucking it up. Oh, I guess it's just running through its own supply. Holy cow. It's really. Wait, what? That shouldn't be the case. It's going through like 5,000 a tick. And it should be being supplied with like 30,000 or 35,000 a tick. What the heck? Um, not to mention, I'm about to add this in. Huh. But, what? That didn't make any sense. Here, let's get rid of this. Put that in. Let's do like a none and then an out. Okay, seems to be still going down. <laughs> um, huh? Is there a limit on how much this stuff can do? It there might be. Oh yeah, five thousand RF per tick. Oh. Oh, okay, so these can only put out 5,000 RF per tick. Okay, so we might have to look at the next one up, which I think requires dimensional shards. Dude, these things are insane. Okay, uh, what we might have to do is set up a separate one that also puts out 5,000 RF per tick, and that at least give us 10,000. Uh, this is not good. This is RF tools, right? Yep. Which means I think the next one up, the next power cell, is going to require dimensional shards. Of course it is. Simple power cell? No. Like, it doesn't tell you the RF per tick either. Great. So I'm, I'm doing this with the hope that it like doubles or triples okay yep I'm gonna have to do multiple power cells just to get this thing running correctly I think yeah that that's actually looking like what it's the deal is so I'm gonna need power cell sorry power I don't know what it is it oh it's just okay so we're gonna need two of these maybe three four next okay and then power cell actually you know what well no dang it cell thank you I'm gonna need four more of these hmm mm-hmm so I bet it can only be fed 5,000 RF per tick as well. That's 
gonna suck a little bit? I don't know about that, though. This is not dropping at all. Uh, you know what? I can actually test this. Um, yeah, I can test it right now, in fact. This is going to turn off, but it's fine. So we're gonna put this in here, and we're gonna probably watch this like drop like a rock. Okay, it's using 7,000, and it's growing. I... <laughs> not sure... Why it stuck at such a low tier? Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, link ID 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one back over here. And we're going to set up... That's the wrong thing. Uh, where's my power cards? Yeah, there they are. So, I'm just going to put them... Link them all to three. And then come over here and just put that in there. And then do the same thing. Put all to out and put that there. So this should be running a treat. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, sorry. This should be fine. It's getting something every four seconds. And it's consuming all the power, but it's fine. Okay, so that seems to be working. This one doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, let me make sure. Is it going up or down? It's going up. Sweet. Okay. All right. So that's figured out. Now we gotta play the waiting game, which is gonna be fun. Not really. Okay, so let's see. We need those crystals. D -d 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 -d. These are the current ones. Where are the new ones? Oh, there they are. We got 51, and we need a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need we need quite a bit of those because the tier three stuff is a pain in the butt so if we look just look up tier three we will get everything in the world that has tier three but at the moment yeah we need six blocks which is a total of 54 oh, are these wither proof we already have wither proof we have wither proof box now nice Okay, so this is tier three, and then I thought, yeah, structure frame tier three is going to require two of those and one of those, and we're going to, okay, whoo, that's a lot of stuff, all right, I thought that was like a short enderman, I was like, what the, so 52, okay, we're going to need a lot, I am certain. Okay, anyway, I'll tell you what, um, I'm going to take a break, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so the Tier 3 Ore Miner is going to take some time, so basically what I want to do in the meantime is concentrate a little bit more on getting some, like, extra awesome item ducks. I've been talking about it for a few episodes, I think, so let's uh, let's actually do it. And we want to go with, let's see, what does this cost us? Like the, yeah, it's just the same as anything else. Either, I don't know what the vacuum, like I don't understand what makes a vacuum duct. Dents, ah, silver, okay. Well, we're just going to do the, the normal signal plated item duct. And... The way we're going to do this is with this method right here, using three item ducts to make a signalum, because our system already knows how to make a regular item duct, so this will speed things along in that regard. So we have signalum, electrum, our system knows how to make signalum and electrum, so we're actually fine there. So 
the next bit we want to do is to create the the fast one so the impulse item duct so the only the, the real way you do this is in a fluid transposer with some energized glowstone right so let's switch over to uh, right let's switch over to the the oh, what is it called the processing pattern Jeez, brain just completely died on me so you put this in and you get out this and we're just gonna get the encoded pattern that says that so one of these is craftable and we're just gonna put that in a molecular assembler which is we have some blank ones yep there we go let's just put that there and the other thing we're gonna do is the the impulse part so now we have to create a magma crucible magma crucible we don't have the okay thing <laughs> I wind up creating these what makes that do that I wonder is it G? No, I don't know. Magma Crucible. Here it is. And we're in processing. We don't need to be in processing. We need to be in crafting. No. Where's my hardened glass? <laughs> hardened. Oh, I need some. Uh, let's make like that money. All right. Perfect. Hardened glass. Okay. It's going to take it a second. It's hardened fluid duct. Don't know how to make those. Okay. Don't know how to make those. All oh, right. Look, just want that on top. We have nether brick. We have this stuff, that stuff. We know how to make most of that. I don't know if we know how to make a uh, nether brick though. Do we? For one, do we have any nether brick? We have some, and we don't know how to make any more. Wait, what? It's in a compacting drawer? That's kind of funny. Interesting that this is in a thing like that. But okay. So let's tell it how, how to make these nether bricks and then how to make those nether bricks. So making these nether bricks is a simple... Well, no, actually, if it's in a compacting drawer, all I got to do is tell it how to make these and we're fine. So what we want to do is we actually want to go over here, clear this out. We want to say, nope, not 64. We want to say one nether rack is equal to one, <clears throat> one nether brick. And hit that. And then that should be okay. Um... No, I don't think it will be okay. While it will automatically create those, the system won't know that they have been automatically created. That's unfortunate. Um, so we need to tell it how to do that. So we just go back over to the crafting pattern. Not a big deal. So like this and tell it that that will work. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so then we go bo over. We go over to this. This is a crafting operation. That's a crafting operation, and these two are not. So we oh well, we need a smelter. I think it's a redstone furnace. I think these are in alphabetical order. Never thought of that before. Okay, anyway. And then this one will be a special bit that will be in a, okay, well, now we know how to make a magma crucible, right? So let's just make one of those next start. Let's also make a conversion kit. So we'll make one of those next start. Uh, we'll make four of these start and fantastic. We're done. Okay. We need this and we need our conversion kit if it's done not done magma crucible magma crucible is done what about the conversion kit 
not done yet. Okay, I'm curious. M A. Why does that make the whole thing go dark? That is so weird. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. So we need the magma crucible. We need our conversion kit, preferably conversion kit. Yay, we're done. Took it a little time, but we're done now. I went too far. We need to go here, and we need to tell it. I think it's on one of these lines. Ooh, that one has eight of eight. That one looks like it has eight of eight. Okay. <laughs> In which case, we're going to come down here. And I think we're going to put it right. Jump. And then we can just dig a hole. Drop through. Uh, ooh. Ooh. This is going to be tricksy. Okay. Hmm. Silly wabbit. Tricks are for kids. Okay. No, seriously. Like, how am I going to get this thing here? Over here, I, I actually might pull it up and around because I wasn't going to do that at first, but I don't really know how else I'm going to do this. Right now, it's got 16 of 32 channels. This is cyan smart cable. Okay, let's look at our dense cables. We have one more cyan one, and we have none of those, so let's make like 20. Got a bunch of stuff, so let's do it. Let's look at the dents. Awesome. Realistically, I probably should have done 24. One, two, dang it. It's gonna take a minute. All right, so let's get the cyan. Just half a stack, please. Put that there, okay. Then we can do the dense cables, maybe. All right, be just a moment. Come on, eight, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, now it's going really fast, all right. Let's get 16. And then we're gonna pull this up this way, probably like that. All right, I'm gonna drop this back down right here, but we're not gonna do it like that. We're going to actually grab this and put that there. We're going to look at getting some smart cables. Smart cables to the rescue, here we go. Huh. And we're gonna pull this down like so. And we're going to attach an interface, I believe. Let's just make 10. All right, anyway, put an interface here. Let's uh, set this guy up. And we're going to pull in from the back. And. Whoa. That was weird. Okay. Anyway, it's working. I just don't know why that quartz appeared to pop out right there. I really wish I put glass right there because I really want to see inside. And. Oh, I can. Oh, ow. This is easy. Easy sauce. Hold on. Glass. Get some of that. And let's grab our wand. Is it in here? We have a replacement wand somewhere. Here we go. Swapping wand. All right. So what I want to do is put that there. Uh, shift right click. Aha. Uh -huh. And then... Right click, voila, right click, and right click. Okay, so now I can see in there. And now I need my silk touch axe or whatever it is. Where is it? 
Is it in here? Nope, it's right there. Saw it. I was just testing you. All right. Okay, so nothing is in there. We're fine. <laughs> All right, so then... What, what do we want to do? We want this, but we also need... Let's see, we also need a fluid transposer. So let's look at it, fluid transposer. Let's get one next start. And we're also gonna get the conversion kit for it. Start that. And we're gonna get these guys for those, please. For more of those. All right, let's get those guys. And our conversion kit is probably being made. It's fine. Okay. Where's our interface? Jeez. Interface. Aha. Okay. Now. One, two. One, two. Okay. We want to put this here. And actually, realistically, we don't need an interface for this. My bad. We need an import bus. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's let's look at import bus. Oh, we're going over time. No, import. All right, so let's put that. Die. Uh, no, I messed it up. I tell you guys how to do it all the time, and I messed it up. Export bus. We we have one. That's that's okay. All right. So we have an export bus, and it's going to connect. Okay, there it goes. And basically, if I remember right, all we really need is some glowstone. So let's get some glowstone. Glowstone, yes please. All right. And we're gonna put that in there, and it should pop in. This will melt it, and off to the left, will be our fluid transposer, which we just made. Fluid transposer. Okay. We will say, get rid of everything, import from the right. We will export to the top. And we're also gonna import from the back, I think. So on this one, we're going to do an interface, and we're going to do a smart cable. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. This, this, this. Okay. We're going to build a little vertically. Oh, do we want to build vertically on this? I don't think it's a problem per se actually what we might want to do is build this way with it oh but no we can't do that either okay we might want to build uh, uh, uh. hmm I'm trying to get it connected with that Okay, let's just build it like I was first planning right there. And we'll just pop it out the top and go like that way with it. That sounds good. Okay, smart cable, bam. Interface, bam. Putting in the interface this pattern. Sweet. Okay, we're going, oh, <laughs> this is super ironic. Um, yep, we're going to need to use the old-fashioned item ducks to do this. It's crazy. Crazy salsa, say. It's crazy. All right. Let's then grab a servo. And let's also grab our conversion kit. Ooh. Why? Oh. <laughs> um, conversion kit and the augment. Okay. And now we need to supply it with power. 
half the reason we're even doing it this way is so we can so, uh, <laughs> so we can supply it with power like without much trouble so like right now we okay so yeah right now we have flux ducts right and we have item ducts which are separate but we can make this so that they are basically one in the same mm-hmm and that's that's the ultimate goal here is that we kind of want to power stuff through the the ducts here okay so that's filling this up that's good we need our other conversion kit okay let's just put that there and then we're gonna need our augments which we have right here okay and then we're basically gonna just want to request let's see if I can go item like this yes oh actually I would like some of these let's just make like uh, 40 of them start I think it has everything it needs it's gonna make some of the others okay let's put our one item duct in there yeah there they go check it out yes and they just go back into the system and Bob's your uncle we're okay okay those are so slow. Give me my item ducks. <laughs> All right. Part of the reason we want to do this, by the way, and yes, I know we're like way over time, but part of the reason we want to do this is, wait, can I do this with the swapping wand? That would be kind of amazing if I could. Let's, let's try it. Let's see this. Where's the swapping wand? There it is. Let's, uh, can I right click this thing and then shift right click that and then no I can't do it oh that sucks a little bit I was hoping it would switch it out but I don't think it recognizes it that's okay we're just going to quickly grab all of these um, and this one and this one and this one and I'll do that one in a minute but now we can just set these up Ooh. Uh, the... yeah, that's an exit. That's an exit. Okay. So, what's cool about this is that we'll actually be able to set this up with with a power source, and it'll be able to like automatically power this, power these machines through these guys. Plus, the item ducks will be faster. So, we're just gonna keep keep setting these up. I didn't do that. Nobody saw it. Nobody can prove it. Nobody saw it. Besides the entirety of my YouTube channel. Whatever. It's fine. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So. Now. Whenever I request something. It'll go through this thing. Yay. Okay. The other thing is that. Since we already have these. Is that we want to. Set this up. Let's see. We want to set this up like this and put these guys in all right fantastic all right so I'm gonna go through between episodes and replace a bunch of these item ducks uh, I think another thing that we'll probably do is set up some power or what we might do is actually go under and so we don't have all these pipes running everywhere. Although I kind of like the pipes running. Oh, well, anyway, if you guys like the episode, please leave a like on it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode.